Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Peter Plays Crash Team Racing Episode 9. In the last episode, we failed a little bit, but then, in the end, we completed the entire Lost Ruin area here. We have two keys. We can now move into the new area here, which is a uh, gl Glacial Park. We take out our two keys. You don't see them going in the door. <laughs> it, just, it just opens. And we go through into this lovely, lovely snowy place. Let's go through. And the music is quite good as well. I love the music here. It's so Christmassy. Anyways, before we go and do any missions and stuff like that. One handy thing is this links. I thought this linked into... Yeah, yeah, this map links into Insanity Beach. So you go through this bridge here, which it looks pretty, it does look like brownness. But we come out with the side of Sewer Speedway. Or I thought it was. But anyways, here we are. Yeah, pretty much it. I thought I'd, I'd show you that, guys, that our, the maps are now linking up and we only have one more map to uh, make, anyways. So that's cool. And we think, can we go through this bridge? Oh no, we can't. But that is a, uh, isn't that? It's Dragon Mines, I mean, so it says. I was only wanting to look for the name. Yeah, Go away. You Thank you. I thought we could cut through here as well. But I cannot. Right. Anyways, so we're going to do the first race. Actually, I think in this episode we might get all the races done. Um, but it might take extra long too. Um, because tiny... Tiny... Arena is in this. Tiny arena is a long course. About three minutes, I'd say. But Blizzard Bluff, um, it, wait, this could be the course I was telling you about. No, this isn't the course I was telling you about. But uh, that course has to be here. Polar Pass has to be the course. It has to be related to the snowy place, so it has to be in these bunch of races. So, just a normal average race. We can do it. We we loads of time to do it. We can do it, guys. Um, it's so happy the way this LP is going. Um, it's hard to believe that I I cancelled it, but I resurrected it, resurrected it, and now it's it's it's, it's better than I ever expected. It's just we're flying through it. We're nearly at fifty percent. We're we're not even ten episodes in yet. I know the next episode's the tenth episode, but that's still the point. We're not ten episodes in yet. We nearly have 50%, we're 44%. Of course, when we leave this place, we complete all this place. We're gonna have it all. Um, the only hard place in this entire map is the challenge, the token challenge, the final token challenge, which is a, uh, it's not Nitro Court, it's a uh, Rocky Road. I think that's the name of the place. Um, that is gonna be tough. That is going to be tough. Um, I, I always found that one to be a hard one. Surprisingly, the last very token challenge in uh, Citadel City is called Nitro Court, and it's basically a square. The map is a square. You can actually fly through that one, no bother. I think that one is probably the, probably the easiest out of them all, really. Um, but this is our goal. We just we're gonna fire through what we can. Ooh, stupid Peter. Uh, we're gonna fire through what we can in this episode. See where it leaves us. And uh, hopefully by the end of this week, this episode is going out Monday, if I am correct, I have all my dates right. Then on, fri on Friday, episode 11, oh, wow, um, hopefully we can have the boss defeated and we can start working on uh, clearing out this place. That sounds good, it's a good plan. It's alright. And we can play, we... We just threw this through this course there now as well. That was easy enough. I like it when it's like that. I like it when it's like that. You know, you get just relax, you chill, like, you know, it's handy. I like it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Loading's a bit too long, and I kind of, I, I would love to skip this. Um, but of course, we open up a new course now. Uh, if not two courses, but I was probably just going to stick at one. And it's either... Tiny... 
No, it can't be Tiny Arena yet. It's gonna be uh, Polar Pass. It has to be Polar Pass. I love Komodo Joe's face there. Where are we heading? Straight, apparently. Why am I turning that way? Ah, yeah. If it's in the igloo, it's Polar Pass. No, it's not. It's something else, is it? Oh, what's this? Dragon Mines! Oh, okay. I thought, of course, we looked at earlier that uh, Aku Aku came up. I thought that was Dragon Mines. Dragon Mines, and yet another fun map. It would remind you of, um, oh, in Mario Kart Wii, what's the course? Wario! Oh, uh, Wario, Wario's course in that, uh, the gold mine. Wario's gold mine, probably, it's called. It just reminds me of that. Or just reminds me of Minecraft, either, like, just... You'll see why in a minute. But you can already tell now, you can see the... Oh, imagine building this in Minecraft, actually. Hmm, you never know, I might do that. And I love the music in this course. Oops, the daisies shouldn't have drove into me. You can see the goal in the walls. This is the course where you, we uh, will fight, or battle, whatever you want to call it. Come on to Joe. You can see the minecart going round. So that's why it reminds me of Minecraft. Whoa, someone right behind me there now, and I did not know that. Right. We need to up start up in our game now. We need to start doing more turbo boosts. Because usually I do a lot more turbo boosts. It gives us a boost ahead. We need to keep a gap. That has me. Yeah. I thought I was going to jump over that, but it's not too bad. Oh, okay. I, I, I get it when I don't want it, and when I need it, I don't get it. It's always the way. It's not fair. Right. Oh, we'll see one in the middle. Will hit someone, it hit Dingo Dive. But they're battling each other as how do Oh I gotta hit a gap. Oh. Nice. Get this big crate here. And uh, yeah. Fine show guys, fine show. Drop that there. We definitely will be facing Komodo Joe in the next episode. Um, so it must be Polar Pass. Polar Pass must be the last one. I did not hit Dingo Dialer now. Oh, I got one over there. Ooh. Well, that should hit someone. Couldn't see why it shouldn't. Yeah, I think I got Polar. Hitting everyone. That's good progress. We went through this one with ease as well, to be honest. Uh, start was a little bit rocky, but there we go. Nonetheless, we win that one too. Wow, all my laps were 38 seconds. Wow. I think that's a first for me. We're doing good, guys. Two episodes in. Not even ten minutes into the episode. Did I say two episodes in? I mean two courses in. Yeah, we're flying through it. It's just these loading screens. I hate them so much. So I'm guessing the next course has to be Tiny Arena. Is this the first time I've seen Dingo Dial on the podium? Probably is. Congratulations, you win a trophy. It's going to open up in that little circle area, isn't it? It is. It's behind us. Right we'll down here to it. This is Tiny Arena. Has to be. That's the little city in there. Okay, here we go. Polar Pass! So the one in the igloo. The Tiny Arena. That doesn't make sense. Well, it does make sense, because it is a long course. And obviously, by course length. Maybe it goes by course length. Fair enough. Um, what was I going to say? This was the course I was actually telling you guys about f a few episodes ago about the rendering. Uh, I was actually telling you that when we were on a tiny arena. Or, ti what's it? Tiger Temple, let's call it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you're going to see the polar bear up here. But if you're racing in second player, look at them there. You're racing a in a versus match against someone. Or a two player, three player. It's just blue ice. You can't see through it. It's just it's like the ice to the left of me here on the wall. So yeah. Now, another a top tip here. If you have a mask at this stage, do not use the mask now when you're at this part of the map. Because it's hard to control getting through here. But use it about now if you do have the mask. That's just a tip now. This is a tip if, if anyone out there is still playing it. They crash game. Just whoa, I don't even know what hit me. Must be in a rolling bomb, but... 
Find myself. There's a short cutish there. You can jump over that wall. Not really a shortcut. You might save about a second or two. I suppose that is a shortcut though. If you're saving time, does that not make it a shortcut? Whoa! Oh. Oh, that broke my TNT as that. Okay. Okay. So I'm not doing too best at the moment. But get that crate there. Oh great nitro. I didn't think we were gonna get nitro, <laughs> that was kinda of put me back a little bit. Okay, we're in four again, so... Ah, we're in third now. So that's okay. We're catching back up, that's all that matters. Going in a second. Oh, three rockets! Got the two of them. Oh, Polar. This is Polar's core, so I don't mind it being first. It won't be first for long. Hey, I shot my second rocket there, I don't know how. Where is he? He's gonna drive into me. Yes! <laughs> you just have to time it right to sometimes, people. Should give us a bit of a lead. I do not want to drive into them seals. Just mess me up. Perfect. We're not. Do we're doing good now. We're doing good. We we need a lead. We do need a bit of a gap. And where are we putting nitro? Oh no! Perfect place for nitro. There has to be a perfect place. Now we use them ramps. Oh, to an advantage. Someone crashed into something back there, which is a good thing. There was a nitro and a potion! But Cortex is behind me, and I need to maintain that gap. Right, perfect. Oh, perfect place to actually maintain the gap, actually, is up here on this place as well. I'll show you how. It can be a little bit difficult, right? You need to jump it, and then you need to just slide your way across here. Just like that. And Cortex is still going through it right now. Cortex is only landing on this platform now. And I'm near the end of it, so I did get a bit of a gap. Try and take the corners as tight as you can as well. So the only tips I can give you. Oh, that's even scaring me. Now, oh, that portion's still there. I have a good lead. That's what I want it. This could be my fastest lap yet. And boom. Now, there's another one. The past two races done at ease, this one was a little bit tough. It did prove to be a bit hard. Now, for the next course, I cannot wait. Tiny Arena It's going to be good. What about how many minutes are we at? 13 minutes? This episode is going to be short enough. About 16, 17 minutes. I could raise Komodo Joe in, in this episode, but I'd rather do it in the next episode just to start it off. And then we do the fun parts. <coughs> I'm going to change it up actually in the next few episodes, so the way I've done it is I went from course, I went to course and then done the relic and done the token, but now in this place, just to change it up a little bit, I'm going to go from token to token, some course to course to course, and uh, this is a tiny arena, yellow, yeah, oh, oh okay, and that opens up Komodo Joe, that's amazing, we're doing good time here. Flying to them, guys. Yeah, if I didn't get the tokens and the relics, I just went for the trophies. Then we could have the game completed by now. But you do have to beat my second time if you do it that way. You need to get all the tokens and stuff like that. Okay. No. I didn't actually think about how I'm going to end the series because there's a way you can do it, right? You can. This will actually, this, this course will remind you of a Waluigi course as well from a Mario game. Um, anyways, we could, I don't know how, I don't know what where it works. Um, obviously we're going to get all the tokens, all the relics and all that stuff. That's the, the aim we're going for the let's play before we go into the, each next part. Oh dear. Um, but, how... You see, because you can raise Oxide twice, but you can raise them only once if you collect everything in one go. So, you know, I'd rather raise them once, to be honest. But if I do raise them twice, what we do is we won't get the gems from Gemstone Valley. Or the speed boosts in the, the tracks. Excuse me, what? Okay, that's going to put me into turret. Hmm. 
Oh. Good long course this one, good long laps on it. Oops it daily. But uh, look, I'll think about that anyways, we go from there. So each lap is about a minute and twenty seconds, maybe. Rounding it off, I know it could be about twenty-five seconds, but just give it to a ten round off to a ten second. So a minute and a half. crap. Oh, good no. Okay. Now I up our game we're or not this one isn't easy like the past course is I got that that's nice there, if you can get your speed right in this course you can go over some of these bumps and the ramps like there's no tomorrow damn it a little little rat again yeah okay let's put it in the front uh -oh. and it's him and Thunderbirds are go. Have first place polars actually beside me. Be swapping with me, it looks like. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, is it? Mm. He's trying to get the revenge for the last course. Mm. Let's see if it's me and Polar. Where's Cortex? Cortex is last. Oh, interesting. Cortex didn't crash, like their speeds, they're all their stats are the same but you'd imagine that Cortex would be beside where I am. Of course these racing games it's all down to the look of the weapons you get and stuff like that. Okay. Keeping that rocket because if I do get passed out at least I have a rocket. Rockets are good right? Good bit of swapping here. I saw Cortex through the map there now. And perfect window. See now, I've got constant turbo. I can press triangle now to show you. Speed. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna put that back now because that worries me. In terms of positions, where's Coco? Now you're back there, okay. Whew, I'm racing a little bit. I'll be racing if I can. Because it's a long course, you don't want to like be racing it a second time. We have to do the CTO or token challenge on this. The relic one isn't too bad. You know, relics, they're straightforward. The tokens can be a bit of a trouble because you don't know where the letters are and you still have to win the race in first place. So, yeah. Okay. We are on to the home stretch. People, you can eat that. Okay. Four minutes. Wow. Long enough. So anyways, that is four trophies gotten in the other episode again. And uh, we just wait for this guy again now. Come on, the Joel's going to talk. Oh, that's nice water. See what he has to say. But it doesn't matter because like the past bosses, we're going to win anyways. Get comfy in my chair though because when we do res next, it's nice to be comfy. Oh, me back. Oh look! When they come in third place, they face away. Oh, I never noticed that actually. Never. Because remember, we seen Coke performance in 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 third place, and we can see on her laptop now. We can't because she's in second. Interesting. Now, could Joe? What do you have to say? So you've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you see why I'm the most feared driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brick dust. Let's race. Yes, Joe, let's race indeed. But indeed, we won't allow to do that until the next episode. So every... Uh, well, out <laughs> Anyways, guys, Thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Give the videos a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next episode when we will, we will kick Komodo Joe's ass. So, until then, goodbye.